Hey guys, uh, welcome to another vlog. Today we are in Lancaster. Yeah. But we've also visited some other places. Um, so yeah, today we're just doing a little story about the Pendle Witches and the trial and things like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you like locations and where they were kept. Yeah. While the trial was being held. Um, but yeah, and then we'll show you where roughly um, they were eventually executed. We're not going to go into great detail on this nah, because nah. there is so much yeah, about yeah. it. Um, I mean, the best thing to do if you are interested in the Pendle Witches, um, there are loads of books out there. We've you got can a couple read with up us. Online, um, yeah. Even other YouTube videos yeah you know, I've seen one today about it and it was like two and a half hours long yeah so yeah you know, it's uh, there is information out there but so. we'll show you what books we've used and yep. what we've done a few tours here so it's a mixture of everything yeah 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 so it's gonna be good. some stuff you might say that's not right it's what we've been told it's what we've read yeah yeah back yeah. then there were no cameras there were no photographs yeah they were all just no video footage so it's all done by paper yeah. pen word of mouth drawings take what you will from it yeah and it's sunny Ooh. we've got a sunny day for once yeah. Yay! <laughs> right so let's crack on as you can see just there there's a castle there's a castle there's a castle just there but so we're actually going to start in pendle yeah so to pendle. because the rain started yeah. We decided to come home. So we're going to do a little voiceover, but these roads are actually in Pendle. Yeah. We will start off at the witch's shop, mm -hmm. which was amazing. They were awesome. And yeah, so here is the beginning of the story. Enjoy, guys. We'll see you in a month. Yeah. In August 1612, a group of men and women from the Pendle area of Lancashire stood trial for witchcraft at the Summer Aziz held at Lancaster Castle. These were only held two to three times a year at certain places. Tried alongside them was a group of three women from Samsbury and two other women, one from Paddyham near Burnley and the other from Windle near St Helens. Collectively they were known to history as the Lancashire Witches. But we're here mainly to talk about the Pendle Witches, which is what Lancaster Castle is probably most famous for, is the Witches' Trial. The trials took place at the time when practice of witchcraft was no longer tolerated in England, so that those accused in 1612 found themselves facing the law at its most ever severe. The Pendle Witch story begins by a chance meeting between Alison Device and John Law. John Law was a peddler from Halifax and on the 18th of March, on the road to Cone, Old Demdike's granddaughter, Alison Device, was out begging. She met the peddler, John Law, and she asked him for some pins from his sack. John Law refused. We don't know if Alison wanted the pins for free or was offering to pay for them, but John Law refused her. Peddlers at this time were often the lifeblood of rural communities. They brought with them everyday necessities of life, such as pots, pans, and sometimes had luxury items such as cotton, length of ribbons, pins. They even brought news and gossip from afar. Peddlers often travelled village to village on foot so they would have been fit to do this work. After John refused Alison's request, he set off down the road. Then apparently, Alison's familiar spirit animal of a black dog appeared to her. She asked John Law to be punished. The dog suggested to lame John Law. To Alison's surprise, the curse took immediate effect. John Law dropped to the ground, he was paralysed down one side and lost his speech. Today it would be known that he'd had a stroke, but back then everyone, including John Law, believed that Alison had cursed him. He was taken to a local inn 
Later, Alison was brought to his bedside. She admitted her part in his illness and begged for his forgiveness. John had called for his son to be by his side. By the time he arrived, John had regained speech and he told his son that Alison had bewitched him, but John Law's son, Abraham, had got involved and was not satisfied about the situation. He took the matter to Roger Noel, who was a local magistrate, and things just snowballed from there at an alarming rate. John was later to testify that he was constantly plagued all through early days of his illness by the sight of Alison Device and the image of a big black dog that he was convinced had harmed him. Roger Noel was already familiar about old Demdike and her family, as orders from London asked him to watch suspect families in the local area. Noel's decision to bring Alison in for questioning was a swift one. Alison had no idea of the implications of what she was saying when she appeared before him at Reed Hall. She told Noel about laming John and confessed all. She didn't stop there. She went on to tell him how her familiar spirit sucked her blood and about her grandmother's long past as a witch, mixed in with tales of turning milk sour and bewitching cows and how Demdike had bewitched the daughter of Richard Baldwin to death after Baldwin had quarrelled with her. Alison had also told how Demdike had caused the death of many, many more. Demdike was questioned by Noel on the 2nd of April. Demdike never stood trial but died in the dungeon below the well tower, which is more commonly known as the Witch's Tower. A man called Thomas Potts wrote a pamphlet on information on Demdike, even though he had never set eyes upon her. He was more than willing to give a damning description of her. According to Potts, she was a damnable and malicious witch. As Alison had already, Demdike now also seemingly confessed to a capital crime and went on to list others. So while it was Alison Device that lamed this beggar, she also accused another family of witchcraft. Many of the allegations resulted from accusations that members of the Demdike and Chattox families were against each other, perhaps because they were in competition, both trying to make a living from healing, begging and extortion. So King James had an obsession with witchcraft and he pushed for severe punishment for anyone accused of being a witch. Back then this was very hard to prove you weren't a witch and if you were seen to be a healer, if you healed them, you had magic powers, you were a witch. If you did not heal them, you had cursed them, you were a witch, you were sent to die. So once all the evidence from all the families came, there was only one way this was going to be settled in court. And this is when all the Lancashire witches were then taken to trial. This is where the Lancashire witches, including the Pendle witches, were brought. So in the 1600s, they had two court holdings a year, didn't they? Yep, it's called the Assizes. Yeah. Uh, basically, Assizes is a court which formally sat at intervals in each country, each county of England and Wales to administer the civil and criminal law. So, so there we go. they'd have been brought up here and back then they'd have probably had to walk. So you think walking, they wouldn't have had comfy shoes. Nope. If not, they'd have been in a cart, which wouldn't have been pleasant. And no, it, they made them all walk, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, most of them were just in bare feet. But this wouldn't have looked like this back then. No. This castle started off as a wooden fort and over the years it's been built. <coughs> to the right there, we'll show you, you can see the difference in the stonework. That's probably around the area the court was back then. That is the well tower and it's probably one of the oldest parts, the oldest, oldest part is in right in the centre. Yeah. But 
the witches were actually kept in this part here. And we're going to go in and show you. Mm -hmm. So once they've been accused of being witches, they've been brought up here to be put on trial and to find out what the fate was. Yeah. But also you have to think back then, women who could heal, they wouldn't have been known as doctors, they'd have been known as witches. So unfortunately we're going to have to finish, well not finish, uh, tell the inside of the castle story yeah. um, out here. Yeah. So we've just found out very nicely yeah. um, that you're not actually, you can take you can pictures. You can take photos for yourself in there, Yeah. but you're not allowed to film for... Yeah. So you can't film for YouTube in there, mm. which, because we didn't actually realise, but when you're told it actually makes sense. Yeah. Because it's the king's property mm. and there's other businesses on in there. Yeah, so because it's the king's property, you can't actually film for Instagram, YouTube, yeah. all that in there without written permission and all that. Yeah, yeah. But we could show you what we need to out here anyway <laughs> so as we heard before this is where the Pendle witches the Lancashire witches were all taken up into that castle and we can show you where they were kept outside yeah. so if you walk just down here we'll go past this tree but yeah the the security guy that's talking to us he was actually really nice so in a way I'm glad he came over because we found some some interesting bits out so here is the well tower you can see oh, wow. this brickwork is different from that brickwork and the Pendle witches, Lancashire witches, were kept in the basement of this tower. So where they were kept, it's probably like more, more deeper than this car, isn't it? Yeah. More deeper. It's a lot deeper. A lot deeper, yeah. Than where that tower is. So they go underground to this tower, and this is where they were kept. And while being held there, Demdike did actually die. She never got um, actually sentenced to anything. Yeah. Um, and she never saw the gallows. Nope. So during the trial, Janet Device, which is actually Demdike's granddaughter, she was nine years old at the time, when questioned if her family were witches, she said yes, they were. And this went against them, and this is why they got accused of being witches. The rumour is that she was only nine years old and she wasn't treated very well. So they think this is her way of getting revenge on her family. Yeah. So because of the word from a nine year old, they're all sentenced to death as witches. So now we're gonna head over to Gallows Hill, which it's never been proven that they were hung there but there's many a tale saying that that's where it was. Well, they were hung there on Gallows Hill. We just don't know the exact yeah, location. the exact spot. No. So, it's just a case of mooching over and finding out. Yeah. So we were hoping to do a really good vlog where we could go in, show you where they were, but due to filming um, restrictions. regulations and restrictions, we weren't allowed, but we it doesn't matter. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. You've all seen inside Castle before anyway. Yeah. Right? In fact, come to Lancaster to and go to the Castle. Yeah, just come over and have a look yeah. yeah. But, I mean, we have put up vlogs previously where we've talked about Demdike and things like that. And you can see inside the castle, so if you are interested in looking inside it, just revert back to yeah. our older vlog and have a look inside. But we do follow rules and we won't film any more in the castle for YouTube because no. we don't want to get into trouble and we respect the rules. Now at the judges' lodgings, um, basically this was the 
original townhouse of Thomas Corvell. Uh, he was the mayor of Lancaster and the keeper at the castle. It used to be an old hall, uh, but it was demolished and Thomas Corvell built the new hall, which is this, on the site around 1625. So this is the Golden Lion pub and whenever you'd had your trial at Lancaster Castle and you're on your way up to the gallows, up on Gallows Hill, you were always offered your final drink here. So the Pendle Witches, they could have had a drink here, there's no reports they did, so it's all hearsay. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not known for sure if they did, but if they if they did have a last drink, it would have been here. There is a case where one gentleman was hung at Gallows Hill. Um, basically, he refused a drink here, but by the time he was hung, if he'd have had his drink, the acquittal papers were already being sent through, so he would have been spared. Yeah, it was proven. So, uh, he should have had his last drink. That he didn't commit the murder. Yeah. And... Yeah, it was just, just... Just by what? Yep. 15 minutes. It's a bit daft. It'd have been still, well, well, not still, but he would have been alive. Yeah. So, yeah. If they offer you a last drink, take it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go and show you the plaque on the wall. So here is the plaque for the Lancashire Witches. Like I said, they don't know if they did stay here, if they did stop here for the last drink, but... Who knows, they might have, they might not have. And there's this. The uh, Golden Lion pub dating back to 1612 was the last watering hole for condemned criminals making their way to Gallows Hill to be executed in times gone by. It seems that someone liked the beer and decided to return. Sittings of a nun-like figure have been reported on, sorry, sightings. Sittings. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay. Ready? Sightings of a nun-like figure have been reported on several occasions which would correspond with the pub's history, as those travelling past the Golden Lion on the way to the gallows would have been accompanied by a nun. One other story is of a teetotal saddler who refused his last drink whilst en route to the gallows. If he had accepted this drink, he may have been saved as the messenger bearing his pardon arrived minutes too late. That's the story that I told you. So there is the castle where we've just been. And then you think they've had to walk all the way through town. All, all the, way. the way up to here. So this is Gallows Hill. Also Williamson's Park. Yeah. Which is a great place to visit. Yeah, it really is. Nice day. Picnic, whatever you want, bring yeah, it with yeah. you. Yeah. As you can hear, loads of kids in the background, so it's very popular yeah. at weekends. There's, a, there's Ashton there's a, Memorial. Yeah. There's Ashton Memorial, you can go in there. That's where they filmed some of uh, the last series of the Peaky Blinders. Mm. So, this is where it all ended for them, wasn't it? Right on Gallows Hill. So it's up here, but no one actually knows where. So it was up here, not only the Lancashire witches, but also any convicted criminals. Yeah. They were all brought to Gallows Hill, put on, oh, I'll tell you what they did have, because usually they'd have a long drop where they snapped your neck, but the Lancashire witches actually had the short drop which is where it's a very short drop and it could take you anything between what 7 to 14 minutes to die yep. it's a very slow and horrible death no no but no one knows what happens to the bodies so they could be buried here they could have been taken somewhere else who knows and the day all this fun and everything could have been they could be having so much fun on piles and piles of bodies yeah you never know that's a lovely thought. Isn't oh, it? it is, isn't mm. it? <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of our Pendle Witches. 
yep. story. Sorry we couldn't film in the castle, but we are going to respect the rules. Yep. And we're not filming there. But the books that we've used for part of this is The Wonderful Discovery of Witches in the County of Lancaster. It's by Robert Poole. That's more about the trial of the, uh, the witches. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this is more like... It's not a kid's version, but it's in more it's simple terms. Yeah. Version. It's a layman's terms. Yeah. So those two are good books to have. Yeah. Both of them cost £7.99. Uh, both from Palatine Books. Or well, if you go uh, to the castle, you can buy them there. Yeah, yeah. But for those not lucky enough to go to the castle, you can get them online at Palatine oh, yeah. Books. So, uh, Amazon, eBay, you can get them all over. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go up that way and we're going to show you a little marker for the witches. Mm. Yeah. So. It's only right and fair now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please yeah. like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah. And all that. All the good stuff. Yeah. And remember out there, look after each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Ta-ra.